Frank Fellers, owner of Fellers. This is 3M press in place. Lots of ways to reinstall emblems, but this appears to be a really great way. And I know Justin Pate is very excited about telling you about it. Justin, yeah. you are the world's leading rap trainer, owner of the Rap Institute. So yeah. you're doing a lot of training out there. Yeah. Tell me why the 3M press in place sure. is important to have versus say a lot of other tapes that you could have. Well, I mean, for me as an installer for years, one of the things you dread when you're wrapping cars is you take the emblems off and at the end of the job, especially if you have ones that are separate, like, you know, it says the whole name of the vehicle on it. You have to, what you have to do traditionally, what you do is you take double-sided tape, put them on each one and it takes forever. You're at, you know, the table or whatever. And then you put it on, you have to take the backing paper off. It's a long process on a car. Sometimes it takes between a half hour and 45 minutes. Then when this came on the scene, I mean, if someone introduced this to me two years ago and when I do workshops, I mean, the experienced installers, when they see me use this, it's like you just hear the groan and you, they, so for me, this is all you do with the emblem is you press it on, pull it off, stick it on the car. I mean, it's literally that fast. And how it's just the, the adhesive is not a flat adhesive. It's kind of broken, so it separates when it goes onto the emblem. So it forms the exact shape of the emblem. So if it has a shape like an A, it forms the A. So I don't have to custom fit it with this. No brainer that you use this. For me, it's just, it, it cuts the emblem time by almost 95%. Incredible stuff. So definitely going to show how to use it on your car. We did your emblems on this with this. And again, it holds up for the long term. It's 3M quality, great stuff. Great, so another time saver. Huge time saver, big one. Thank you. Absolutely. 3M Press and Place works on a wide variety of emblems. First off, solid emblems, as they're most straightforward, as the back of these emblems are flat. So what you want to do is take out a strip of the Press and Place. You get 10 strips per pack. Remove the backing paper, place it face up, and then simply press the solid emblem onto the adhesive. Pick it up and you want to make sure that you really get a nice form fit onto the solid emblem. So as much adhesive transfers and then simply pull the liner away and then all the adhesive stays. And then you simply just press it on exactly where it goes on the vehicle. Make sure you press nice and firm so 100% of the adhesive touches the body. If any of the press in place kind of adhesive swings around to the top side, it simply wipes off and then there you go. Very straightforward. And a good quick tip is always fold the liner back onto itself so that adhesive, which is live, doesn't get on your fingers. Now we get to open emblems, and generally these open emblems have a, are a little tricky to do if you're using it with standard double-sided tape. But again, with press and place, it becomes much easier. But and these are generally the logos of the companies, so again, it's cut out. What you want to do is cut off a little piece of the press and place, and again, just work this in increments. You want to form it on one side, and then it, obviously this is live adhesive, so you don't want to touch it with your finger, but try to maximize that little piece of the press in place. And you can see how the adhesive is just coming off, and I put it back on the liner, put the backing paper there, so it does, the adhesive doesn't get on anything. But again, you can see how it's just kind of rotating it, working the outside. So I just work a little bit of the press in place there on the side, pick it up, and you can see how the adhesive came off the liner there. Press it again, and again, just trying to do 100, 360 degrees around the edge so it sticks nice and tight. And again, this one has pegs, so you simply just line up the pegs into the holes and then form it in place. So again, don't rely on these pegs to hold the emblem on. Use a little press in place, form it in place, and again, sometimes the adhesive kind of swings around the outside during this process. Simply just wipe it away, press it on 360 degrees, make sure all the edges are tight and sealed, but again, that holds for the long term. Now we get to small letters and numbers, and these can be always tricky to use with double-sided tape because it's just how small they are, and especially you're moving that liner. But now look how easy it is with press in place. Simply just take the number six, press it onto the exposed adhesive, and pull it away. And because these open sections are a little tighter, sometimes the press in place bridges the gap here. So a good tip is simply to take your knife and to kind of swing it in, and it easily breaks away and falls onto the backside, nice and easy. So very quick straightforward process there but again the knife is really good for that and then you can simply just take the emblem put it exactly where it goes nice and easy